Good morning, brothers and sisters. This is Brother Clarence coming to you uh, with a word. Uh, I'd like to talk to you a little bit uh, inside out. Inside out is the title of my little message here today. Uh, and, I, and I have a reason for it. I, I'd like you to listen to me. Hear me out before you shut me down. Uh, inside out, the title of my little message. Uh, Paul, the great apostle Paul, said in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 27, he said, but I keep under, under my body and bring it into subjection, lest that by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. As in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 27, we find that verse of scripture. Paul, pa Paul is telling us here, uh, as a Christian, uh, learn to let the new man on the inside dominate your, uh, your, your outward man. Uh, he said that that outward man is not a new man. The, the body has not been born again. And that, that's what we really got to realize today. The body has not been born again. It's our spirit that's been born again, rebirthed, uh, be, be, become a new man. Uh, uh, all things uh, are new, and, and old, old things pass away. Says, Behold there in Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, uh, being Christ is a new man. And, and, and old things pass away. Behold, all things become new. Now he's talking about the spirit man, the in, in, inside man. Uh, hallelujah. The inside man. It's got to keep this flesh under subjection. Oh, praise God. The body has not been born again. Like we said, uh, the body will keep on wanting to do the things, uh, it has always done and that's the truth they don't want to keep doing the thing that's always done that's uh but uh, but but we must um uh, keep it under subjection paul the great apostle paul said this uh hallelujah that, that, that things that it that that is wrong the great apostle paul uh body did i mean uh, this great apostle uh uh wanted uh, uh would have uh wouldn't have had to keep his body under if it were not wanting to do things uh, that were wrong. Now, you know that's the truth of the matter. Our body wants to do things that ain't right. We, on the inside, the inside man has got to keep the outside man under subjection. He's got to say, no, you can't do that. That's not right. That's wrong. And, and, and with the power of the Holy Spirit, we can, the greater one is on the inside of us. Uh, we can keep this body under subjection, I'm telling you. Oh, praise God. Uh, that, that is the truth. Uh, so don't be surprised when your body wants to do wrong things. Don't let it surprise you. God, that, I mean, that's natural. It wants to do wrong things because of flesh. Hallelujah. We have the flesh to content with in this world. The devil works through the flesh. Yes, he does. Uh, because uh, we experience trials and, and temptations in the, in the flesh, the devil tells Christians, you must not be, you must not um, uh, ever, ever be saved. You, you, you evidently not saved because you want to do things that ain't right. <laughs> That's the truth. If, if you were saved, you wouldn't want to do those kind of things. That's the truth. You wouldn't want to do that. Satan, Satan, the adversary, uh, it works through your mind and your flesh. Uh, Satan will uh, it, insist it's, it, it's you who wants to do wrong. And really, <laughs> really, you... The man on, on 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 the inside, the new man, want uh, doesn't want to do wrong. It's not you wanting to do wrong; it's your flesh wanting to do wrong. Praise God, Hallelujah! Don't don't you don't 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 you need to break um uh, uh break the, a habit, uh, conquer an old temptation, walk in victory over the flesh. Uh, don't don't you uh, uh do you want Paul? Uh, uh, what Paul, Paul, uh, uh, did say, uh, what Paul said, uh, Paul said, I, 
I don't, I don't let my body rule me. That's just putting it right down there where the rubber meets the road. He said, I do not let my body rule me. Praise God. Who is I? I is the man on the inside. That's the, that's I. Paul calls his body it. And he calls himself the man on the inside. Praise God. We've been born again, washed in the blood of the Lamb. It's the man on the inside. Hallelujah. Is who we want to be. It's not the man on the outside who we used to be. But it's the man on the inside, the brand new creature in Christ Jesus. Praise God. That, that, that's who we really are. If we just, I mean, it, it, and our body don't want to, don't want to go along. It don't want to do that. It wants to do all those things it's always done. Well, uh, I, I got news for you. If you've been born again, born to the spirit of God, the greater one lives on the inside of you and you can, you can keep that body under subjection. You, you don't have to let that body rule you no more. Hallelujah. Praise God. Uh, Paul, uh, Paul said, I keep under my body and bring it into subjection. Into subjection to what? To the inward man. To the inward man. Oh, praise his name today. Praise God. Hallelujah. He brings that into subjection. To the inward man. Uh, you know, I was reading there in Romans chapter 6 there. And uh, in verse 16, it says, Know ye not that whom you yield yourselves servants to obey his servants to whom uh, you obey, uh, whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness. Oh, praise God. Know ye not that to whom uh, you yield your servants, your sales servants, to, to obey his servants you are to whom you obey, whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness. But God be thanked that you were the servants of sin, but you have obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine which was delivered you. Being then made free from sin, you became the servants of righteousness. Oh, praise his name today. Yes, that's the truth. Uh, I tell you, uh, we pray every night at 8 o'clock, and, and I'd like to invite you to join in with us. Uh, we've been praying for probably about three months for this lady that had cancer. Uh, and um, this is my praise report for today, and it's a good one, I'm telling you. She's had cancer, and... Uh, but praise God, the day she stood up and gave a testimony at a Bible study that she cancer free, the Lord healed her and made her whole from the top of her head to the soles of her feet. That's the God in whom we serve. And we don't let the flesh rule. Let the inside man rule. The flesh won't tell you nothing good. It'll tell you all. It'll tell you stuff bad. Don't, don't listen to the flesh. Listen to the Holy Spirit as he speaks to you through the word of God. Now, Jesus is the healer, uh, and, and he healed you 2,000 years ago. If you'll stand on that promise today, by his stripes you were healed. And stand on his promise and, and, and what the, the, the inward man demands, the body to do. The inward man says, by his stripes you were healed. Now, straighten up and act like it. <laughs> Well, it's not really that simple, but it can be. It can come to pass. God honors faith, and he honors faith in his word. When his saints stand on his word and confess his word, by his stripes I'm healed. Praise God. God honor that, because that's giving his son glory. His son paid the price for our healing on Calvary's cross. I was sitting down at Walmart the other day. I got to close uh, I was sitting at Walmart, and Brenda was shopping a little bit, and I was, uh, got me one of them benches and sat down on it. Kind of, uh, just, I just like to sometimes sit and observe. Uh, the Holy Spirit speaks to me about things, and, and I got to watching people coming through the lines, you know, and up through there. And, and, and probably 85% of the people I saw was seniors, 
probably in their late 70s or early 70s maybe. I mean, many of them didn't even have no color about them. They, they look like they're just on their last leg. Look like they're just taking their last step. And God began to speak to my heart. And, and, and how many of them, I, I, I wonder how many of them that keep their body under subjection. How many of them knows the Lord Jesus Christ as Savior? How many you reckon do? Statistics says that uh, two to three people leave this earth every minute. That's a lot of people, friend. A lot of people that don't know Jesus, most likely. Many of them do not. And you know they don't. Uh, we know that. And everybody in America ought to know the Savior, but they don't. America is headed down a wrong road. They do, they're not keeping their body under subjection to the Lord Jesus Christ. They're not doing... Uh, what what the, the word of God tells us to do. They're serving sin and they're serving Satan. And and uh, many of them are going the wrong way. They're going to Broadway. I hate to say that, but they really are. But, uh, you know, they could be turned around if they just yield to the Holy Spirit and, 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 and put their body under subjection. This outward man, this man that's not changed, this man is formed in sin and shaped in, 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 in iniquity and sin and, 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 and put it under subjection to the Holy Spirit, then, then we could live a life pleasing unto God. We'd be a light bulb to a lot of these people that, that, that's leaving this world today without Jesus. And uh, I just wanted to mention that to you today. That one that got healed, that one giving her testimony how God healed her. I've seen many healed of delivered of cancer. We got a couple more we're praying for that has cancer, but we believe in God to heal them. But you know, um, uh, many, many today. I had a good friend when I first got saved years ago, uh, 34 years ago when I got saved. It's probably been 33, 30. 32 and a half, maybe. He, 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 uh, it took me a long time witnessing to him every night and every evening when I come off work, going over, sitting down. He is, he was a bachelor. He, his wife had passed and we'd sit most time, play cards and smoke cigarettes and drink beer. That was before Jesus come by. <laughs> After Jesus come by, I <laughs> all that stuff away, man. But I'd sit and talk to him about the Lord and tears would stream down his face. He'd say, Clarence, I don't want to live forever. I say, well, according to God's word, you're going to live forever somewhere, whether in heaven or in hell. That's just the truth of the matter. Well, you know, that went on for a while. He was one of them old camel smokers. He smoked one right after the other. Sometimes have one laying in the ashtray smoking. He'd light him a nothing. And one day I got the news. I went to see him and got the news that the doctor had diagnosed him with lung cancer. You know what? He throwed them cigarettes down. From that day on, he never smoked another one and, and, and gave his heart and soul to the Lord Jesus Christ. God didn't deliver him from that lung cancer, but, well, he did, really. He took him home. He took him home. Praise God. He said the easiest thing he ever done was quit them cigarettes, but it, it, took, it, took, it took that to save his soul. And I praise God for that today, that he's in heaven waiting on me to get there. Glory be to God. That's the truth of the matter. And uh, I've seen God heal many. I've seen God take many home and heal them. Heal them before they leave here. They don't leave here with cancer. No, they leave all that stuff behind. <laughs> Listen, you have a blessed day today. Yes, Brother Clarence, I love you. God bless you. I hope to see you in the morning. If I don't, I hope some glad morning I'll see you in heaven. You have a blessed, blessed day now, and I'll, I'll talk with you tomorrow. God bless you.